Hello, my name is Milo, and I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own Catholic rosary. But like any project, you need the right materials. First of all, you need the right tools. First one you're going to have is either a set of flat nose pliers here or a crimper tool like this. I prefer crimpers over the pliers because you're going to get a more professional look. And then you also have to have something to cut the wire with, obviously. Um, a wire cutter like these is good to use. You don't want to use scissors. And then I got these at Walmart. You can get these tools at any craft supply store. Michaels, Hobby Lobby, maybe even on the internet if you have the time. Next you're going to have your beading wire. Now, you can get spools like this at Walmart and you get quite a bit for what you pay for. This one's um, 100 yards and it's only like four or five dollars the thing is though it's not a very professional item to use it's a single line of metal wire it's prone to snap especially if you're using it for jewelry or a rosary like we're doing today I prefer and always buy now um, it's expensive but uh, I get 49 strand professional beading wire because um, it adds a strength that this this product here will not ha ever have and not only does it come stronger that way, it also has a flexibility that most jewelry um, should have. And then of course we're making a rosary, so you're going to want to have uh, your crucifix of choice, a rosary center, okay, and then some crimps to help close things up and finish things as you go. And then of course you can't have a rosary without beads, so you want to have, uh, you don't need all these, but you're going to want to buy some at a at a hobby store or your local Target or Walmart that sells crafts. Today we're going to be using these pink ones here. Make a nice uh, feminine, like a little girl's rosary maybe. And I like to use fill bead. You have to use a fill bead between each uh, major bead that you use up here. Um, I like to use and generally use the uh, clear and they're all inlined with silver. So it gives that uh, gives it a sparkle and a shine that um, you're not going to get with a a rope or a plastic rosary. And that's all you need to get started. So why don't we get going? There are a lot of ways to do it. Everyone has their own way of doing things. Um, I would suggest stringing your beads for your rosary on the spool because you'll know that at least one end is closed and the beads won't fall off and you only have one open end and that's where you're going to be working from. If beads fall off there, well that's your fault and you deserve it. <laughs> Let's move on. Okay, so now we'll get started beating. Uh, we're making a five decade rosary, and on each end, I want to make sure, just as a sign of the Holy Trinity, what I like to do, I use uh, three fill beads. Those are the clear ones that I showed you earlier that um, have the silver lining. So I'm going to put one, two, and three. And then I'm going to put my first bead. First bead of the decade. It's your Holy Mary bead. Your Av bead. A-V-E. Okay. First set's done. I'm going to do the same thing nine more times to make one decade. And then I'll show you what to do with the uh, Peter bead. The Our Father bead. Just remember the three at the beginning is just for the beginning and the end. In between each uh, glass bead here, I'm going to be putting uh, just one fill bead. And the fill beads I use are 6-0. Um, you'll see those sizes when you buy them. Uh, you'll get other sizes depending on what size rosary you want, how many you want in between each bead, uh, however you wish. Okay, be back soon.
Okay, our first decade's done. Now I'm going to add the very first pater bead. And then what I'm going to do with this, since it's a simple rosary, is I'm just going to separate that from the decade with three fill beads. Now if you check my shop, or if you want to get fancy on your own, you can use gemstones, bicones, uh, other faceted beads, whatever you want to separate. But for a simple rosary like this, rosary like this I'm just going to use the fill beads. So three fill beads, again, representing the Holy Trinity. That's just my thing. You can do the same or however you want to do it. One, two, three. Oops. And you're all set. Now I'm going to make the, the rest of the decades along with the paters for this strand. And we'll crimp it off and start the final strand for the rosary. And that'll be it. So now I'm done with the decade strand. And you want to make sure you check your work before you close it off. The last thing you want to do is look, look at it later and then have to undo it and pull all kinds of beads just to change or fix one little one. So let's go through it. One end I've got my three starter fill beads. Then I've got ten av beads, a pater, another ten beads, a pater, another ten and a pater, another ten, a pater, and then the very last, the fifth decade, ten beads, no more paters, but your three last fill beads to attach to the rosary center. So now I'm going to show you how to uh, attach this to your rosary center and then we'll finish off the rosary with the crucifix and the crucifix strand. Okay, so now you're going to take your crimp, which is just a small middle tube and allow you to squeeze down on the wire and close it off so none of your beads can fall. You don't want to let it drop all the way down the wire. Then you're going to take your rosary center and you're going to slide that onto your wire behind your crimp and you're going to loop that wire back and through the crimp. Okay. And you're going to pull it kind of tight. Just like so. And you should have something like that. Then you're going to take your crimps. You're going to use the interior first and gently squeeze firmly. That sets it in place. Then you're going to use the second set of the crimpers, the bottom right there that crunches this down and sets it in place permanently. Okay. It's hard to see with this video, but there you go. Now all I've got to do is remove the excess wire. I'm going to take my uh, cutters. Take that off. And there you have the first half of your rosary center done. You slide all your beads down. And get ready to do the other side. Now that I have one end of the beads tied up to the rosary center, I need to do the other side. I've already pulled the beads tight across all the way to the end to where it begins from the rosary center. Now I'm going to trim the wire from the spool. And I just as a force of habit use my first or my middle three fingers as a spacer. I'll cut right there. 
And then I have another crimp ready. I'm going to put that on. And then I'm going to pull it almost all the way down. Then I'm going to take the rosary center. And I'm going to put it through, loop it through the other side. And do the same thing. I'm going to loop the wire back in through the crimp. Okay. And I'm just going to pull it down again so that I have a little bit of room to move. Maybe a little more than that. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and crimp that off. Crimp that in place. Okay. And then I'm going to set it. And we're all set. Got a little bit of play. And then I'm going to cut the excess wire off all the way down. And we're almost through with the rosary. Now for the crucifix strand. I went ahead and completed the crucifix strand just for ease of time saving. You want to check your work again before you close it off. Got your three fill beads to the start and the end. I've got the pater, another three beads to separate from the av beads. I've got the three avs separated by one fill bead. And then I've got the other pater separated by three. And as I mentioned before, the three at the end. Now what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and place my crimp. And for this lesson, we're going to put it through the crucifix. Loop it around like we did with the other strand. Close it in on the crucifix. Okay. Now I'm going to get my crimping tool. Close that off. 90 degrees and set it. Okay, now that's, that's set in place. I'm going to take the excess wire, cut that off, and we're set. Okay, and you'll notice um, I had to use two white beads in place of pinks because <laughs> I'm embarrassed to say I miscounted how many pink beads I had. But it really doesn't matter. I can fix the other strand or fix this sometime later. It's the same process trying to make the rosary and I'm just going to continue. We'll finish this up and regardless of the colors, you're going to know how to make a rosary on your own. So now like the other strand, I'm going to trim that off. I'm going to grab another crimp. Mind you, this is a lot of detailed work, and if you don't have the hands to do it, you can use a tool just like this to help pick up beads and such. You can even go out and get some bent pliers like that to help pick up and slide it down the wire. But I like using my hands, and I'm pretty good at this. So now, I'm going to go ahead and attach this to the rosary center. Loop that around. Oops. Loop it around. There we go. Third time's the charm, right? I'm just going to pull that through until I have a small loop. Just like I had with all my others. 
Okay, once I have that, I'm going to get my crimp tool. I'm going to inner circle squeeze. That sets it. 90 degrees and close it. Now it's permanent. And I can come in and trim the extra wire off. Oops. There we go. Just make sure. Okay. And there you have it. You have a nicely de As I was saying, there you have it. You have a nicely detailed rosary. I can come back and, uh, like I said, fix this later. I can change the painters on this strand to white to match this, or since it's a short strand, I can come in and put pink beads later. But either way, it's it's ready to go. Actually, it kind of looks nice just like that. If you have any questions, just comment on my video or you can email me at m magnuson m m a g n u s s o n at live.com uh, you can also please visit my etsy shop it's uh http colon forward slash forward slash www dot m s m milo sanchez magnuson msm creations dot etsy dot com and thank you for watching i hope you learned something and i hope you can make some very nice rosaries show me some if you get a chance